It's time for some carbon-based gaming. What's hiding here? Don't waste a step. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Sterlak, senior clerk in Counting House. Enjoying party, drinking, talking. What? Wanted names of senior staff, families, any scandals, secrets. Wolves arrived when our host left, slaughtered us. West Door took most beautiful people away. Never saw again. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Let's see what this does.
What's next? Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting You wish to times. consult me? Trust no one. What now? Very well. And on a clean metal platform, a beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age, signs of things dragged onto it over the years, but it seems to be in good working order. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Cazador's private quarters. 
Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. Ominous, yet austere. This place has its charms. <laughs> We're both learning a lot. Casador kept this place all to himself. I do not blame him. It is not the sort of place servants or spawn should sully with their presence.
Thousands of names. This couldn't be part of the ritual, could it? On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. This skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Valioth's first lesson is always to dominate. Allow none to be your equal. Valioth recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Valioth drained his friend dry. Valioth's second lesson is that power comes from solitude. To share with others is to be weak, and to be weak is to fail and die. Valioth recalls when Casador rebelled against him. Casador suffered eleven years of impalement because he failed. Valioth's third lesson is to act not in haste. A near immortal has time to plan, time to act only when others will pay the price of action. Valioth recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the rite of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Valioth recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull and then to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. Even his precious rule.
Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. The ring slots perfectly into place and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. a lot on my mind, and, well, in it. the door to the ballroom upstairs. This door features no keyhole, but it does have an indentation for a signet ring. The ring slots perfectly into place and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow-eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. I don't even know what this prison is. He hid all of this from me. And the others. If I had to guess, I'd say they're part of his ritual. But where in the hells do they come from? You. I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. You... No. You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. these faces. They're my conquests. I pursued them, seduced them, and brought them to Casador. He 
told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one, so we'd have source for this cursed ritual. How long? What? How long have I been down here? to us. Sebastian. I should have known what Cazador was capable of. Ah, he's played us for such fools. And not just seven spawn to placate the devil. Seven spawn and seven thousand souls bound to them in blood. Everyone who ever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots. And the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. <laughs> What's the point? They're as good as dead. I thought they were dead. If they are unleashed, they will cause incredible carnage. They will be ravenous. They must die. Better they serve a purpose. I know they will. Attend to me. Without warning. No time to rest. What a day. I have worked too long on this Veiled I in shadow. Bender! 
on his family! Lend me your ear. Still breathing, despite everything. What now?
I will not fail. While they're busy. Let's wait until no one's trying to kill me. advantage. Let's end this. Hmm, let's see. Alat Das.
Come on, then. Can't slow down. Well, hello. No, no. No healing sleep for you. Wake up! Get your hands off me, worm! <sighs> I'm not the one in the dirt. One last thrust. And I'll be free of you. I'll never have to fear you again. But if I finish the ritual you started, I'll never have to fear anyone. Ever. You think me a fool? That I would allow anyone to usurp me, speak the words, and ascend in my place. Hm? The runes I carved into your flesh bind you and all 7,000 souls to the ritual. Complete it, and those bearing the scars will be sacrificed. You included. You are simply a means to an end. I made you to be Consumed! I am so much more than what you made me. I can do this, but I need your help. I need your eyes, in a manner of speaking. What do you think you are doing? I'm making what you made me. Use the parasite. Link your mind to mine. Through your eyes, I can see the scars on my back. And copy them onto his. You would not dare! I would. And I will. You will be consumed. And all the power you've lusted after will be mine. I sacrificed others so that I could become who I needed to be. I won't deny you the same chance. Your minds join and your two selves become one. You can feel the knife in your hand, see the scars on his back, and taste his hunger for power. Yes. Yes. I see it. What are you doing? Don't! Ah! Grateful child! Wretched child! Time to take your place. Yes. 
Princess Astaria. Take the power you are owed, whatever the cost. I can feel it. I can feel their power flowing into me. Nunc volo potestantum quam poliki tus es me. That ache in my stomach, that hunger, it's gone. I'm free. I'm finally free! Oh! Oh, it feels delicious! I think the answer to that is... Whatever they damn well please! <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. I have a brand new world to explore. This is it. The hopeless dream dreamt by all of my kind. I am the greatest vampire to ever walk this land. Even the Pale Knight would have knelt before me. Never again. I will not think about him. I don't even want to say his name. Everything has changed. I felt so very little for so long. My edges dulled over the numb years rotting in the boudoir and kennels. Now, I can hear it at last. At last. How oh, all the lowly creatures of this plane are begging to serve. <laughs> How to call upon them. Scurrying footpads in their safe houses. Rats below our feet in their filthy holes. The crows in the night above! They will obey. The world will stir in fear. <laughs> the spawn. It won't take long to get a new army. I'll make new ones soon. I already hear the world whispering in sweet surrender. And I feel alive.
can't give up now. <sighs> Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. I've seen everything. to put my hands on everything. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe for more. Or consider checking out one of the related playlists on the channel.